We've been through a very difficult past in Africa. We had to struggle against colonialism. We had to struggle against despotism. The leaders are, have been in it for themselves and not for their people. And so I formed a view that the real way to unlock Africa's potential would be to develop a new generation of leaders. Because it's a bar and it's getting higher and higher and higher. So we look for young leaders from all backgrounds. And we say that if you have the potential to change Africa, no matter where you came from, then we will find a way for you to be here. Joe, can you start read? What makes a good leader, please? A leader is someone who is part of the process. They come from rural areas. Some of them are refugees. Some of them are orphans. But they've all risen above that adversity and have already started driving change in their communities. And vocation that we've been dreaming of for years. I've always wanted to explore the rest of the world, but I never had the opportunity to do so. Coming to ALA was very eye-opening. I've always wanted to mingle with other people and hear different stories. I have always been a survivor, and I intend to stay that way. For Africa to really develop it, it's going to have to happen on a continental scale. We talk about having a population of a billion people and a GDP of two trillion, but all of that is meaningless unless we can actually bring our countries together. And so I believe that the leaders who will be able to bring these countries together and to drive that pan-African investment are leaders who actually know each other and have relationships with each other. One of the things, for example, that we do at the academy is we ensure that you do not share a room with someone from your country or from your religion. One, two, three. So that promotes tolerance and appreciation for diversity. I met some of the students and I remember thinking, wow, okay, I've never met people like this. I, I would say that education is something that held Zambia behind. So you're looking at several factors. They were all from different countries. It was a definitely new environment for me. Because if it was a culture thing, then I think like countries like Zimbabwe could have learned a lot and could have moved further. When I came here, the day-to-day -day conversations with people from 40 different countries taught me how to think critically and have different perspectives about everything in life. Uh, although at the beginning he said that I'm not going We believe entrepreneurial leadership is developed through experience and practice. And when I think about what our students do on this campus every day, they're launching their own small things and that then gives them the confidence to do something bigger, which will give them the confidence to do something bigger until they're building institutions with a pan-African scale. After my first year at ALA, I was really encouraged to do what I'm passionate about. So last summer, I organized a summer, a poetry summer camp for teenagers in Nigeria to learn how to express themselves in a creative form. I'm a very outspoken human rights activist. Because I'm passionate about film and animation, I worked towards how to build a socially responsible media house. I ran with the feminists because I understand that we have to deconstruct the system of patriarchy that oppresses women. There are about 200 projects that they've launched across Africa in different stages of development. I look at William Kamkwamba, who built a windmill and used it to bring electricity to his village. And he's now brought clean drinking water to 60 families in his community. He's built a school that's educating 400 children in his community. We have several graduates who have gone on to university and have come back to Africa and have started their own companies already. I'm organizing a youth residential camp that's going to teach leadership to Mauritian youth and this is going to help them grow as a leader themselves because I'm acquiring all this knowledge and I feel like I should share it with other people who do not have the opportunity to come to ALA. It is building the learning community. What we're saying is a very strong signal that we're investing in you. The expectation is that you will plow back this investment that we've made into you back on the continent of Africa. You have this young, vibrant, energetic part of the world. The average age of an African is 18. And how do we harness the potential of this youthful continent and use it as a source of innovation and change for the rest of the world? <laughs>